All right, so this is Copper, and today what we're going to be doing is assessing his behavior when he is playing with another dog, um, just to go over what normal and typical play is and if there's any signs of um, anything that we should be concerned about. So this is how he's acting when we don't have another dog out, and what we're gonna do next is bring out um, his, a dog that he does live with named Kona, and um, so I'll let the guardian go ahead and get the second dog. So far, nothing to be concerned about. Like that, that's what he does. He's very I'm gonna switch, switch places with over here so I can get a better idea. I like as you can see he's wagging his tail and then he's trying to crack his pistol. I would say that what I am seeing the most of is that he's probably growling in a playful way of trying to engage her and trying to get her to play with him. Um, that's what I'm seeing so far. Um, I, we, it should be noted though that a wagging tail doesn't necessarily mean happy behavior. It just means how much energy they're bringing to the table. But look at but what so what you want to look at is when you see the dogs wagging their tails, it means it's a good indicator of how much energy. But what you can tell by the rest of their body language is whether they're happy or not, essentially. Like whether they're comfortable or not comfortable. And if you can see in the video, as he's moving around, he's very wiggly. His body is in a nice and relaxed posture. As you can see, him trying to play with Kona, his sister, um, here. That, what he's, that means that in combination with the tail wagging back and forth, he's bringing a lot of energy to the table because he wants to play. But because his body posture is nice and relaxed like this, it shows that he's being friendly and that these are growling noises that are indicating that he wants to play and he's trying to engage in play behavior. Now, if he was standing here really stiff and rigid, his tail was in like really tight um, wags or, and you can see here that it's not, it's he has loose tail wagging, um, but if his body got really rigid and stiff or you see kind of the whale eyes where you see the whites in their eyes, those would be indicators that he was um, unhappy or uncomfortable with some kind of communication or with another dog. However, it is better to have a dog indicate to another dog that they are uncomfortable. It would be better for him to growl or um, tell another dog that they are being disrespectful and he needs more space, or for him to turn his head, walk away. All those things are better than a dog biting. So I don't wanna extinguish those types of signals because that would be like us trying to say to someone else, I'm uncomfortable, I don't um, want to do something, and that, that being taken away and leaving us with a last resort of having to just push somebody away or do something like that. So we don't want to take those signal, signals away, and most dogs, not, oh, no. not all dogs, it's okay. Love. Um, Thank you. Um, yourself. But, and for most dogs, if they recognize these types of communication signals, then they will be able to know, okay, this dog's uncomfortable and they can communicate and work, walk away from each other, which is what you do want if one dog's not upset. So as long as he's communicating and the other dog is understanding, interpreting correctly that communication signal, then everything's fine. And growling is even okay as long as it doesn't escalate into a fight. Again, a play bow is like what he's doing and this type of growling and this is all, um, he's using bite inhibition. He's not biting hard. These are just play bites. Um, again, nothing that I'm seeing to be concerned about. Um, but we'll just kind of let him play for a couple, for a bit and make sure that we're not seeing anything that's problematic. Come here. Good dog.
So when, um, so when Kona there was kind of said like, okay, I want you to stop, she turned her head away, but he also did the same thing. See how they do that right now? They were just doing that. They're turning their heads away from each other, which is a common signal, which is saying, it's helping to keep them at a play level so they keep playing and everything stays fine and so it doesn't escalate into something else, which is normal dog behavior and communication during play interactions. That's typical, we expect to see that. Um, but the calm, calming signals are just a way for them to communicate with each other we're still playing and to give each other a quick little break in the middle of playing. So notice that they kind of take little breaks like this and then they check in with each other and then they usually start playing again. But he is respecting Kona when Kona kind of says, okay, give me a break for a second. He does stop. Um, and again, he's not biting hard whatsoever. These, he's using bite inhibition, meaning that he's not biting down very hard. These are just playful bites, um, or not even bites. It's more or less what I would call mouthing. All right. Hey, Copper. Come here. Sit. Good boy. So this is Copper, and this is um, a little bit of an assessment with a dog that he does live with, so he is very familiar with her, um, but on how he's using his play styles and um, based on what I'm seeing right now, I wouldn't have any cause for concern about how he's playing um, with Kona.